Hello everyone, today I'm here to talk to you all about a very important global sustainability topic that we struggle with known as ocean pollution. Now what exactly is defined as ocean pollution you might ask? Well, National Geographic asserts that pollution is the introduction of harmful contaminants that are outside the norm for a given ecosystem. Now, there are many different things that contribute to ocean pollution, including pesticides, herbicides, chemical fertilizers, detergents, oil, sewage, plastics, and other solids. Now, here's an article from BidNet in which they tell us that the Earth's oceans are a vital part of the environment. Not only do they contain 97% of the planet's livable habitat and act as a home to more than 700 different species, but our oceans generate half of the oxygen humans breathe while absorbing 30% of the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Now, like you might already know, the oceans serve us in many different ways, especially by providing much of our food source. Despite this, however, SustainableDevelopment.un says oceans, seas, and marine resources are increasingly threatened, degraded, or destroyed by human activities, reducing their ability to provide crucial ecosystem services. According to the same article, some of these human activities include climate change, marine pollution, unsustainable extraction of marine resources, and physical alterations and destruction of marine and coastal habitats and landscapes. It's extremely critical that we make concerted efforts to care for our oceans because, as the same article points out, over 3 billion people depend on marine and coastal resources for their livelihoods. People should be concerned about the well-being of the ocean because, as ProtectPlanetOcean.org points out, about half of the world's population lives within the coastal zone, and ocean-based businesses contribute more than $500 billion to the world's economy. They continue by saying, the air that you breathe, the water you drink, the food you eat, the products that keep you warm, safe, informed, and entertained all come from or are transported by the ocean. Further on, Mass Live has an article titled Water Pollution Serious in which they state acid rain can destroy forests everywhere. What is acid rain? Well, acid rain is liquid that is from the atmosphere that contains extra sulfuric and nitric acids. When acid rain hits the ground, it affects all kinds of plants. That means that if there is a farm nearby or where there is acid rain, many people's food will be affected by the acid rain. This could mean less food and no money for the farmer. Now there's a website out there called SingularityHub.com that has an article titled Five Organizations Using Cool Tech Solutions and Research to Clean Up the Ocean in which they list five different unique ways organizations are offering their services in order to clean up the ocean. One of the organizations called the Ocean Cleanup believes they, that because of the currents in the oceans, garbage tends to pile up in huge garbage patches. This article states, Their technology corrals floating plastic in these ocean currents with U-shaped screens in which it's trapped and shipped away to be recycled. They believe they can clean up half of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch in less than five years. Organizations like this one will help ensure that the oceans become more sustainable for many generations to come. Now, Another example of ways IT is helping us clean our oceans is explained in an article titled Three Incredible Inventions That Are Cleaning Our Oceans, written by the Huff Post, in which their third invention is a technology that turns plastic waste into oil. The author states, The technique used by the machine known as Pyrolysis breaks down the mix of plastics into a more basic molecule so that it can be turned into an oil that the University of Warwick has named plaques. Now it's evident to us how enormous of a problem ocean pollution is becoming, but thankfully there are companies out there that, that are using the advantages of IT to clean up our own oceans.